Derek here with The Closet Doctor. Uh, Lisa and I recently traveled to Italy and we were on a manufacturing tour sponsored by BSE. They took us and we went and saw uh, about 12 or 13 factories. All kinds of, they showcased all kinds of their equipment, open house at their place. Lots of automated stuff, uh, lots of automated material handling and robotics and things like that. Uh, some of these companies you can see here, you know, the edge bander here with return conveyors and an automatic robot that transfers at one side to the other. Very complicated stuff. Um, and even some of them even talked about lean. They showed us, uh, you know, lean slides and talked about their lean processes. But here's what we saw in most of them were that they had mountains of inventory stacked up and on all over the place. And in some of them, we even saw that they had finished goods or what we call work in process stacked on pallets everywhere. And that some companies had even spent, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on complicated robotic machining centers that actually stored their inventory. Is what we failed to see at most of these companies was a whole lot of actual finished goods coming off the production line. They'd spent millions of dollars on automated equipment, but had spent almost zero effort on working with uh, the human interaction and what the employees need to be doing. That was until we got to the last company. And at this company, they made semi-automatic case clamps and packaging materials. He took us around the corner to a building on his facility that housed a, another company that was assembling just kind of a nightstand cabinet. And as what I saw was one of the most efficient work cells that I've ever seen outside of the Toyota production system. Let's go ahead and I'll walk you through what they were doing. So the product they were making is a simple cabinet. It's just a two drawer, like a nightstand, two drawers and a cabinet. And this is the layout of the facility that they had. The green items are conveyor belts. Everything is moving from right to left and they have uh, conveyor belts that move the material any appreciable distance. Um, items number one and two here, these are case clamps that assemble the cabinet and the drawer boxes. And item number three here is an automatic packaging machine that seals and closes the box. The beginning assembling cabinets, two people in the drawer station area and two people in final assemble and boxing. It's for a total of six people total in this work cell. Here's how it worked. The first two guys here in the cabinet area uh, installed the drawer guides on the sides and assembled the cabinet and placed it on the conveyor belt where it automatically ran into the case clamp. The other guys over here in the drawer station, this guy is building the drawers. They're using a miter fold type drawer that folds up. He slides a bottom in it, puts the face on it, places it on the conveyor belt, and it goes through the, the press and clamps it together. Uh, guy number four here, he pulls it out and he places the drawer guides on it with a special, it's a clamp type uh, assembly, so there's no screws on it, and slides it across on a table right here. This lady picks up two drawers at one time and holds them in a way that when she walks over to the drawer box or the, the cabinet box that she can slide both of them in almost simultaneously. And then this person here does a final wipe down and places a cardboard box on it where it flows into the automatic boxing machine and closes it up. These six people here were working 100% without any waste of movement and were able to produce, they had coming off the end of the assembly line here, two cabinets every minute. In a 10 minute time period, they produced more cabinets than we had seen at all of the other shops combined in this.